Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing some recent purchases I've made at Target, TJ Maxx, a couple things from Petco, and I think that's it. So, oh, I'm also going to show you guys a couple of plants I picked up at Home Depot. Hopefully I don't forget to show you guys my plants because I'm going to be so mad if I do. And Coco would like to say hi. Hello guys, I hope you guys like what my mom got me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thumbs up. Okay, bye. I guess I'll start with the clothes, home stuff, and then we'll do the plants. We'll start with Target, and Coco looks like she wants to help. So the first two things I got are these just little lace shirt, or do you call this lace? Crochet? I don't know. I got it in a size extra large, and it comes with a matching. Well, it doesn't come with it, but you buy them separately, and they just match. This one I got in a size large. When you put the skirt with it, like, this much of my skin shows, if that because I bought this to wear like at my waist. So yeah, um, good luck to me with this. Whenever I tried it on, it was like really cute. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. Like this is my first time ever wearing like a crop top with like a matching skirt like this. This is from the Exhilaration brand, in case you're curious. And I will link whatever I find in stock below. Um, and if I don't find it, then I'll try to link something similar. This is also from Target. Um, these are the exact same shirt, exact same size. Okay, we went to one Target and Octavio had found this because I was on the hunt for this exact shirt. And I was like, well, I don't know what size I would be, so I'm gonna just get the one that he found because this is the only one we found that day. And then if we go to another Target and I find a bigger size and it fits better, then I'll just get that one. Well, we went to another Target and I found this one and I didn't remember that this was also large. I thought I got a medium and I was like, I never wear a medium, but I was like, this shirt maybe runs big. We're supposed to fit looser and it like fits tighter on me. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly don't. Like it doesn't fit, I think, how it should. Like it fits okay, in my opinion. But I think it's supposed to fit a little bit longer. And I feel like for like bigger girls like me, this stuff isn't really flattering on us, but I don't know. I'm gonna wear it anyway. I think that was it from Target. Oh no, these shorts. By the way, these were from the Universal Thread line from Target. In case you're looking for it online or something. I also got these from Target and they're just some pink shorts. These are also high-waisted, which I never wear. Like I do wear them, but I don't wear them and like show like all the way to the top. And I'm hoping I could wear these shorts with that white shirt and just like tuck the shirt in on one side or something like that. These are just folded like that. They're not like actually sewn or stitched anywhere on that. So they completely fold and they're like sewn like this, they're not like a raw edge. Moving on to TJ Maxx. First thing we have here in the bag is some Calvin Klein underwear. Y'all know I told you guys how much I love Calvin Klein underwear. Um, I got these in a size large and these were on clearance for $6. Next thing we have here in the bag are these leggings from the brand 90 Degree by Reflex. I freaking love these. I think these are capris, yeah. I love these leggings or capris or I also got some shorts. I got a shirt from this line. Like this line is just so comfortable. I have some high-waisted leggings from this line and they are like the most comfortable leggings ever. They're not like the softest leggings ever. I mean, they're not rough either. They're like that athletic material, but it's not like the soft athletic material, if that makes sense. These are pretty high-waisted, I would say. Um, the logo they have on the back, in case you're looking for them at TJ Maxx, is that. It's like a little person dancing. And I got these in size extra large. That's what the tag looks like. These were only $15. For $15, you cannot go wrong. I was looking for another pair of leggings, just like the ones I have, but I didn't find any. So I got the capris and I also got the shorts. They're the exact same thing, but in a short. I think my leggings are a little bit more higher waisted than these that I got. These I got in size large. And yeah, I really like how these fit. They're so freaking comfortable and I'm just so happy I found those. And from the same line, I got this shirt here. I feel like it looks a little bit more pink in the video or like in the camera. It's like a muted, rosy toned pink. I tried it on and I was like, oh my God, I need you. It's so freaking comfortable. This one actually comes with like a big tag like this and the big tag says, Oh, I got it in size extra large. And the big tag says it was $44. I don't know where you can find this line besides TJ Maxx. I've only purchased my stuff at TJ Maxx, so I'm not sure. And the last pair of pants I got from TJ Maxx are these dusty pink, also Capri pants. I don't remember if these 
were these all the way long? Like, I feel like I remember them being leggings, but I don't know. Maybe they're like to the ankle. They're also high-waisted. And these are from a different brand. These are from RBX Active. Yeah, their tag just looks like that. And here's like the other tag in case you're like trying to find it somewhere. So yeah, these fit really comfortable as well. This is my first time buying from this brand, but that other brand, you guys, if you're looking for comfortable, like leggings, whatever, go to that brand. These are so stretchy. I feel like they kind of like suck you in a little bit, but they don't make you feel like you can't breathe. Like you're not suffocating. You don't look like a complete sausage. Well, like if you get the right size, I feel like. On the shorts, I ended up getting a large. I think the large and the leggings fit but the extra large fits a lot better. So yeah, you guys be the judge. I think I'm gonna show you guys like me trying them on. So you guys let me know if I look like a freaking sausage in this large shorts. So, oh yeah, the last thing in the bag is just Coco's, what do you call this? Antler. She goes through these like nothing, especially these with the like stuff like this in the middle exposed, like she will chew through this like in a freaking day. And since we're already into Coco stuff, I'll show you guys what we got her. This is from Petco, the Serenity collection. We got her these socks and they have like little sticky thing, I guess so they don't slide while they're walking. I think dogs hate socks and like shoes or anything like that, but we've never bought her any. I really want to buy her some shorts. I mean shorts, what the hell? <laughs> I really want to buy her some shoes. <laughs> shorts, oh my gosh, <laughs> that one looks so funny. I really want to buy her some shoes. Um, she has worn socks before, she didn't really like them. She wore uh, Max's socks. They were a little bit too big for him, so we tried them on her. She didn't really like them, so I don't know why we bought her these, but they're freaking cute and they're pink, so I was like, yes. Next thing we got her is this raincoat. It's so freaking cute and it says it's reversible. This is what the inside of it looks like. Whenever she goes out and potties, we always have to like dry her off completely. And I'm hoping this at least helps a little bit so she doesn't get soaked when it's like pouring out there and she has to go potty. I think these are reflective. I'm not sure. I know these are. I don't think so. I think it's just like the gray part. We also got her one of these little a D dog sweater things from Amazon. And they're so freaking cute. She looks so adorable in it. I wish we had found her the pink one, but she wears a size four extra large in these like a D dog outfit things. And we had to order from like the big dog section. They only had like black, gray, this color, and like one other color that, I don't know. But I hope I find a pink one day because she looks so freaking cute. And this is perfect because this is long and it's like perfect on her. It like barely fits right now. So if she grows a little bit more, I feel like it's not gonna fit. Lengthwise, it's perfect, but like in the chest area, it's like just right now, it fits perfect. It was only like 11 or $12 from Amazon. Like I said, I'm gonna link everything below in case you're interested. The sizing of these is a little tricky. Um, like I said, she's a four extra large in their sizing. So you kind of just have to measure your dog in order depending on like what they measure. I wouldn't go by like large, extra large or whatever. I guess I'll just show you guys Coco's little bed. I think this is like a, hello ma'am. I think this is a crate liner, I'm not sure. But we just set this on the couch because she sheds a lot. And so we just set it on the couch and she kind of like has gotten into the routine of just jumping on here instead of like anywhere else on the couch. Cause we usually have a blanket on the couch that she's like allowed to stay on just so like the rest of the couch doesn't have like a bunch of hair on it all the time. We had bought this just for really anything, not specifically for the couch. We bought this for like her to put in her crate, for her to lay wherever she wants. I actually really love the pattern of this thing. And she's like got her paw on it. She's like, she's probably like, what are you doing with my stuff? I just freaking love the pattern. Like I just had to get it. I was like, cactus, pink, yes, we need it. So yeah, it's been on the couch and she's freaking been loving it. It's not like the best quality, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like I really just got it for the pattern because the quality is not the best. Like, it's like super not the best quality. But I mean, it was only like $15, so I don't know. And it's freaking cute, so. Moving on to Paxson, I just got a couple of things here. Got some more Calvin Klein panties. I know I told you guys that I always buy them from like Costco or TJ Maxx. But these pink ones are so freaking cute that I just had to get them regular price over there. They're $20, a little steep for panties, but they're freaking cute. The next thing I got, I know Octavio is gonna hate me for this because I buy so many freaking hats and he's always like, you have so many hats and you never wear them, which is kind of true. I don't remember the last time I wore a hat, but I just had to get this red hat. Like it's so freaking cute and I feel like it looks so good with like my blonde hair again. 
Um, my hair's not where I want it to be, but whatever, it'll get there. And it's gonna look so freaking cute. This is probably like the last one I will buy because I feel like he's right. I need to stop buying them because I don't wear them. Maybe I should just start wearing them so he can't really give me shit for buying more and not wearing them. Sounds like a plan. They have the regular like unisex hats and then they have the women's fit. They had both of them. Well, no, they didn't have both of them. The like unisex fit was at Zoomies and then they had the women's fit at Paxson. I ended up getting the women's fit just because like this part is like smaller. Um, and I feel like whenever I put this one on, like it goes up a little bit higher. So it kind of shows your face more, I guess. I don't know, not that I want to show off my face, but whatever. The last thing I got there is this little backpack. It's so freaking cute. I don't know if you guys can see how small it is. Like here's the hat and here's the backpack. Coco's just looking at the phone like, uh, who is she talking to? It just looks like this. It has like a little mesh pocket on the inside. And the one thing that made me get this one instead of the other one I was looking at was the straps. I got this one because of the straps. You see how like they're able to just move around and they're not like the puffy, uh, like bungee ones like that are on regular like school backpacks. I felt like the straps on this one made it look a little more like chill, relaxed. I don't have like a little backpack like this for like going out. Let's say if we go into like an amusement park or something like that on a vacation that like I need something like this to just carry on my back. I have a pink backpack, but it's more of like a dressy one and it doesn't have a zipper on it. This one also has this little front pocket and it has like a little hook, like if you wanna hook your keys on here, or your wallet or something. This one was $30. Honestly, when I was in the store, all I wanted was like the pink version of this, but they only had light blue, a red and a black. And if you like this like, dusty pink color they do have one this color i've seen it online on journeys i think and after thinking about it i was just like no i probably shouldn't get the pink because i feel like this one matches with more things and i also already have a pink backpack so i was like i don't know like i kind of wanted them both but i'm like i don't need to like i need to calm down i'll just take the black one and just yeah if you guys watched my haul from I think it was like December or something like that. Whenever that Hearth and Hand collection at Target came out, like Magnolia or something. Y'all know, it was like Joanna and Chip's line. I think they still have it. I think it's like an ongoing collection and they're just like releasing stuff depending on the season. They still had the colander that I was like dying to get. Like I was so freaking sad whenever I had found one and it was chipped. And I'd never ordered it online and I just kind of waited on it. And whenever we went to the other Target, they had it and oh my God, I freaking love it. It's like so perfect. Perfect, but but I don't think I'm gonna keep it I haven't decided if I should just like use it and see what happens because the reviews online seriously like they're just making me want to go return it I'm huge into reviews I will read reviews on anything I'm trying to buy like if I can't decide I will read reviews and they will sway my opinion like instantly and so last night I was actually looking at it again and I was reading the reviews and they had pictures on there if you guys bought this and like it's gotten rusty on you like I've heard it rusts like down here it doesn't specifically say what type of metal this is um, like it's the perfect size and color and everything that I've wanted if it's only gonna last me like a month and start rusting it's not worth $20 you know so if you guys have this and it's like gotten rusty or broken or if you had a bad experience or a good experience share it with me because i'm not sure what to do and at the store there was a lot of them that were like chipped and so i was like even debating i was like should i even get it because i don't remember if this one's chipped but i feel like if it's already chipped and there's a chance it's gonna rust after i even wash it or use it one time i don't know if it's even worth keeping I don't know so this one i'm like happy about but i'm like i don't know if i should keep it so i don't know I don't know what to think. By the way, I don't think I said this. This is from Target. This I got from TJ Maxx. It's just a basket with the wooden bottom. I've never seen a basket like this. They probably have them like other places, but it's so freaking cute. I love the black against the wood. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. I brought it and I said I was gonna use it in the makeup room, but honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I feel like I can use this for anything though, so I'll find a purpose. Next thing I got is also from TJ Maxx. It's this pink globe. Eventually, I wanna put it in the living room, I think, or that's what I bought it with the intention of doing. I don't have anywhere I can put it on yet here, but... I didn't want to miss out on being able to have a pink globe. I feel like I haven't seen a pink globe like ever. So I was like, I gotta snatch you up before someone else does. Then I also got this pack of hangers. This is a set of 30. 
These are gray with silver on the top. And then I also have gray with rose gold on top. These are actually my favorite. I only picked up these at first. And I was like, I feel like that's not gonna be enough. And then I picked up these. I wish I had found like two packs of these so I could have like all gray and rose gold, but whatever. It's not that serious. Like I feel like right now I have like pink, purple, zebra print, white. Like I have a bunch of colors, so. Whenever I got these, Octavia was like, I actually like the plastic ones better. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just use the both of these then. I like these over the plastic hangers because I feel like they maximize the space in your closet. Not like a lot, but they take up less space than like the plastic hangers, in my opinion. And this I also got from TJ Maxx. It's a pot, but it doesn't have a hole in it. So I don't know what I want to use it for. I guess I'll just try not to like overwater the plant, which I like, I'm really bad at. I cannot keep plants alive for the life of me, but I'm trying. I'm trying guys. I got this with the intentions of putting it in our restroom because it kind of matches like the pattern that our towels have, but we'll see where it ends up. Is this called a pot or a planter? I don't know. Maybe it should call it a planter. Planter? Pot? It doesn't say what they are. Whatever it's called, I got one of these. You see it right there. Not much I can say on it. it. This one does have a hole. It's plugged up right now, but you can like take it out or whatever. I think this one I'm gonna put my aloe vera in. I've been wanting a little set like this from Ray Dunn. I like the planters that have like the big like letters that are like plant, grow, seeds, whatever. But I ended up getting these. This one says strength, wisdom, and patience. I really like what this little set said. And these do have a hole on the bottom, in case you're curious. And I like how they come in this little tray here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in the tray, but it's cute. And the last planter I have is this one from Home Depot. I think it was like $6 or something like that. They have a bunch of colors in a bunch of sizes like these. Super lightweight, like plasticky one. And this one does have like the little hole thingies on the bottom. And it had this stuff in there. We had also got this at Home Depot. Rose plant food. I've never used this stuff. Like I'm totally new to planting stuff and like gardening and all that stuff but I'm trying to be about it. And if you know me, you know I freaking love strawberries. So I was like, yes, what better than to grow my own strawberries? I'm gonna plant them in here. I feel like I'm already setting myself up for failure because I think you're supposed to plant them on the ground. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I also picked up this from Target. Uh, Octavio says this was way too expensive for what it is. I paid $10. Like I said, I'm totally new to this like planting and gardening and all that stuff. Like I don't know what stuff usually costs, but he says like a big shovel is usually $10. So I'm like, okay, I definitely got gypped. I told him it was a good weight and he said that's not a good thing. So I'm like, okay, well I fucked up because I didn't know. I thought it was so cute. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. And apparently it wasn't a smart buy, so. I don't know. I don't know if to recommend this then. So let's go outside and check out my plants. Okay, so our first plant here is a pink rose bush. I think the shade is called Queen Elizabeth or the type. I'm not sure. It says Queen Elizabeth on there and it was the last pink one. So I felt like it was meant to be. Next one here we have is this little palm tree looking like plant. It's called a foliage, foliage. I don't know. That's what it says. And this is the one I want to buy a woven basket for. Just like one of those brown ones that looks so cute and like Pinteresty. Um, next one is an aloe plant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. RIP aloe plant. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to come fix this after this. Let's just ignore the fact that that just happened. Here's my cute little aloe plant. He will be in a new home soon. And this one here is a gardenia plant. We planted one of these and it's pretty much still dead. So I hope this one blooms nicely and smells so yummy and I can't wait. So here's my succulent. I'm not lying when I say I can't keep plants alive. And here's my bamboo that we had for five years. And when we moved here, I killed it. And then here's my rosemary I bought in like December, also dead. And that's probably like something else I killed right there. Just kidding. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching all my recent purchases. And let me know if you guys want to see more hauls. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye guys. Bye guys. Give it a thumbs up. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed all the goodies. Bye. I'm a crazy girl. 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 Oh, 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 okay. She's leaving. All right. Bye.